Hi, this is Dr. Jim Anderson from Anderson Podiatry Center for Nerve Pain here to talk to you about chronic pain. Uh, a lot of the videos that you'll see on our website dealing with nerve have to do with neuropathy, uh, maybe restless legs, but I'm going to talk to you about something different, chronic pain. Uh, there's lots of different names for chronic pain if you look it up on the internet or read about this. One of them would be reflex sympathetic dystrophy abbreviated as RSD. Another one would be called CRIPS, which is Chronic Regional Pain Syndrome. Another name would be Sudex Atrophy. There's multiple different names and it gets very confusing. Another one is Causalgia. But just think of it in one lump sum as chronic pain. And a lot of you have heard of people that have chronic pain. Uh, how is it caused? It could be caused from trauma. Uh, somebody could fall and maybe twist an ankle, sprain an ankle, or break a bone in the leg. Maybe they're an automobile accident. And then they are relegated and sometimes they're just labeled as a chronic pain patient and they get a lot of the similar symptoms as you would have with neuropathy. One of the hallmark differences though, besides the burning and the tingling and, and those kinds of symptoms, what sets this aside and is different from neuropathy is sometimes you'll have uh, maybe some warmth to the foot or the leg. Uh, and that's because this affects the sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is what we call the autonomic nervous system, which is meaning that you, you really can't consciously control it. Um, such things as heart rate, blood pressure, that's something your body just kind of takes care of. When you're talking about in your hands and your legs and feet, uh, the autonomic system would control blood flow. So if you have this thing of reflex sympathetic dystrophy, it would simply mean that you may have blood flow to the foot that's out of proportion to what it ought to be. It could be a lot more, maybe it could be less, but it's just not in balance, so to speak. So a lot, a lot of times people have a, a warmer foot. Uh, here's the point I want to make. In America today, and generally, you're going to find that when you are told you have chronic pain, you're going to be treated in many cases with maybe spinal injections or maybe they'll do procedures in the spinal cord area where they ablate or, or pretty much kill off some of the sympathetic nerves in that area. Sometimes that can be effective. Maybe you need a spinal cord stimulator or maybe you just have to be on drugs, Neurontin or maybe even narcotics in some cases because the pain can be that severe. And what I want you to understand, what we do here is we treat the problem where we think it lies. And we think that in many cases it's from an injured nerve in the lower extremity or in the foot. And I'm going to give you a quick example. This goes back a few years, but it's a very memorable experience. A patient came to me from Denver, uh, had heard that we work on people with nerve disorders. Uh, she was a, a mom and, and was so drugged she was afraid taking her kids around town, driving them because she's so drugged out. <laughs> and uh, she was going to have to have a spinal stimulator, came to me for another opinion. She'd had surgery on her foot, and that surgery on the outside of her heel had entrapped a scar. In other words, there's a nerve there, or I should say the scar had entrapped a nerve. There's a nerve in that area, it's called the sural nerve, and it got tangled up in a lot of the scarring there, and I simply injected her. I simply blocked that nerve above where it entered into that scar tissue, and almost all of her pain in her lower extremity went away temporarily. She came back again, I did it again, and same thing happened. Uh, long story short, I convinced her <laughs> after uh, two or three of these that this could work, and what we did, we, we could have gone in and maybe tried to detangle the nerve from the scar tissue, but it's a nerve that we could sacrifice. It's a nerve that doesn't supply any muscle, so she wouldn't be left with a weak foot. We simply went up in the lower leg, cut the nerve, buried it in muscle, and her symptoms went away. She does not have to have a nerve stimulator. She's off all the drug, drugs and such, and that's a story that is a very common thing here, and it's really important that you hear it because you don't hear a lot about it. You hear about the drugs that are used, and you'll hear about things that are done in the lower back. But please consider the possibility that we can help you in the lower extremity. These procedures are fairly easy to do. We tend not to see that we make people worse and a high success rate, uh, but you need to come in and look at that side 
uh, of, of the story. A uh, really good opportunity. We can help you out there with chronic pain. So please consider that. Give us a call or please visit our website at andersonpodiatrycenter.com. Thank you.